Hi, and welcome to another video from MathsRevision.net Probability Trees. Probability trees allow us to work out the odds of conditional events. A conditional event is one where the result from a previous event has an effect on the possible outcomes of the following event. For example, if we have a box with three blue counters and seven red, then the chances of getting a blue counter are three out of seven, and the chances of getting a red are four out of seven. If, however, we remove one blue ball, for example, then not only do we have six balls left to choose from, but the odds of each have changed too. An important rule to remember with probability trees is that our fractions for each round must add up to one. So here's an example. A dealer has eight cards face down and tells us that five of them are red and three of them are black. We know that our chances of pulling a red out are five out of eight, and the chances of pulling a black are three out of eight giving us our first two possibilities and branches. After choosing a red, we then have fewer cards in the deck left to choose from, and one less red. So our new chance of picking a red here is 4 out of 7. And because there are still 3 black cards in the deck, then the chances of picking a black card are now 3 out of 7. When all is done, we end up with our probability tree like this. Now, to find each branch, we simply multiply each fraction on that branch by the next. So, the branch, if we had chosen red, gives us 5 over 8 times 4 over 7, which gives us 20 over 56, or 5 over 14. We repeat this for each possible branch for our final results. Now, if asked to find the likelihood of a result, for example, what is the probability of getting one of each colour, we simply add the branches with the relevant results together. So for our example, the answer would be 30 over 56, or 15 over 28. Thanks for watching, now if you haven't seen our first video on probability, or if you're having difficulty adding or multiplying fractions, click the relevant links here. And don't forget to subscribe for more maths videos.